Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to join me again. So, we learned in the last chapter that Jesus just liked to show up. So, we're going to learn again in our final chapter. Can you believe it? This is the last chapter of John. The real in the final chapter that Jesus still, he really likes to just pop up places. Now, his disciples decided they're going to go on a fishing trip. Not really, they're sitting on the beach really bored and decided at that point, like, okay, let's just get on a boat. So, you have Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, and three other disciples. So there's six of them on this boat and they're having a little time fishing, you know, just throwing the nets over. But they're absolutely failing. They're getting nothing. But Jesus just shows up on this beach. They don't even know who this is at this point in time. But he just says, like, you know, what are you guys doing? They're like, ah, oh, we're fishing, but we're completely failing at it. Like, nothing's coming to us. And he's like, I ah, just throw it on the other side of the boat. So they take him at his word, you know. What's the harm? You throw it on the other side of the boat, you're still probably not going to catch any fish because usually there's no difference between one side of the boat to the other. But they do it anyway. They throw it. And oh my goodness, they just, they catch so many fish. They can barely pull the net back onto the boat. It is so full of fish. And then suddenly, the disciple whom Jesus loved, <clears throat> John, <laughs> he realizes, he looks at Peter and is like, man, it's Jesus over there. And Peter's like, I'm on it. I am so on this. He don't like, he took off like his outer garments, his sandals, and he dove into the water and swam over there. I can't even imagine. Like, you can just boat over because everybody else is going that direction anyway. But Peter is so excited that Jesus is there that he just dives into the water because, you know, he is the disciple who is very vocal, very like showy with his faith. Not in a bad way, it's just his personality. He just gets excited and he yells or he jumps in the water or he, you know, decides to walk on water with Jesus. But in any way, they're all heading that direction anyway. Peter probably doesn't get there that much sooner, depending on how fast he can swim. They get to the shore and they pull all the fish out there. And there actually happens to be 153 large fish. Not just like these little tiny mackerel fish, but like big fish. And Jesus is just like, let's just have a campfire. We'll have a little cookout and we'll have a little chat about, you know, what's coming next because you guys are going to be so surprised. So they do this, but then Jesus looks at Peter and we already know I denied Jesus three times. And so three times, Jesus asks Peter, do you really love me? Now, P Peter's a little offended, like, I just answered you not once, not twice, but now I'm answering you a third time with a positive yes, I really love you. And I think that's really, really important that Jesus asked him three times. It was almost like Jesus was trying to show him what it felt like when he, he was denied three times. Not just once, not just twice, but three times. It's disheartening. And it's almost like rebuilding something. And, you know, he has now said, yeah, I believe in you. And he, I love you. And he's done it three times. It's almost like covering over what he had decided to say that he didn't love three times. Well, Peter asks, like, well, what about John? You're so focused on me, but what about him? Now, Jesus is like, what is it to you? That we need to really focus on... Jesus is like, well, what is it? It's nothing to you. Like, this is my business. It's between John and I, not you and me. You and me is a different story. John and I are a different story. You don't need to know what I got planned for this person because I got something planned for you. So you need to focus on you rather than focusing on somebody else. So it's really, really hard these days when you want to focus on other people. Like, oh, like, their life is so amazing. This is so awesome. Like, what's wrong with my life? And this is, like, the part where I was reading and feeling like God was trying to tell me stop comparing and start focusing on you and me. Not what somebody else has with me, but on you and me. Because I, we got something special. And we're always going to have something special that's unique and different from other people's faith and other people's relationships with me because no two relationships are exactly the same. Everybody sees God and talks to God and does things with God or does things with God that are different than the next person. And that's the whole point, isn't it? We're all different. We're all unique. We're all special in our own way. So that's it, we're finished with John and next week we're gonna start next.
All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.